What's up? Here we are, October 27th, Friday morning. I'm on my way into work. Uh, but you know, I'm taking a half day, and uh, tonight we're going down to the deer camp, and uh, it's going to be game on for the first weekend of muzzleloading season 2023. Dad and I have been putting a lot of work into a camper that we have down there that's, you know, semi-permanent. Uh, and we fixed it up really nice. You know, it's bigger than the one we had last year. And, uh, hey, the heater works. So, you know, it's, it's pretty perfect. Uh, which is good for this weekend because this weekend is it's very interesting. It is 72 degrees right now. It is 8 o'clock in the morning couple of hours it's going to be 50 degrees and this this weekend holy cow it's going to be cold uh windy and drizzly and some at some points rainy uh if if nothing else i think we're going to see a lot of activity uh with the cold front coming in this weekend it's gonna be it's gonna be good times and i, I can't i can't wait to get down there get in the camper uh keep fixing it up a little bit but when we're in there and then uh doing some hunting we're not so let's see what happens uh, muzzleload season deer season 2023 coming at you Well, it's about 43 degrees, 45, pouring down rain. I had to get off my, I'm off my stand right now because I was getting drenched up there and my gun was getting soaked. So I'm underneath this big pine tree right now. Still kind of fun, but I don't know how much deer, I don't know how many deer we're gonna see right now. I'm going to uh, wait till it breaks a little bit, put on a poncho and head back to the camper. Well, it's been a few hours since this morning, and uh, we've just been hanging out at the camper and uh, staying dry and warm. And, uh, I decided to take the side-by-side -side out to uh, the corner of the field out here and just, uh, you know, sit here for a little bit and see if, if by chance something walked by. The problem is, is that it's raining all day long, and so sometimes light, sometimes heavy, but it's a walk for me uh, to get to my stand. And so what I don't want to do is just walk out there, sit down for 15 minutes, and start pouring again, and walk back in. So just taking it easy, Figu figuring out things for camp, uh, working on some things, relaxing, staying warm, watching some TV. We're definitely not roughing it by any means. Tomorrow, hopefully, the rain gets through and it's just cold. Who knows? Maybe they'll run. Maybe they'll move a little bit. So far, just a rainy, cold day. All right, check this out. This is what we love to see right here. This is a two inch thick pine here. And look at that rub. Holy man. He's shredding it. It's a good sign. That's a good size rack probably. Good size deer. That's what we like to see.
colder today, but it has stopped raining for just a little bit at least. I'm taking the opportunity. I'm going to have a little morning sit this morning, see what comes by. Maybe we see that deer that made that big old rub this morning. Who knows? Not going to be out here long because we got to break camp today, get back home. So, um, but you never know. They could be moving today. Here's another rub I found. Not too bad. I think there's another one over here. Right there. These two rubs are behind my stand about, I'd say about 75 yards, maybe 100 yards behind me. So this area up here has always been they're really good with rubs and scrapes at times. Been about an hour and a half on the stand this morning. It has been off and on raining. It is cold. And uh, I think I'm gonna pack it in and pack up deer camp. First week in the muzzleloading season, not great for hunting, uh, but we got, it was a good time in the camper. It worked out pretty well. We got a list of things we got to get done. Technically another weekend of muzzleloading left and a couple weekends of rifle season coming up. So, hey, there's a lot of time, a lot of deer, um, a lot of chances we're gonna have to bag us a big one. I'd like to see the size of the deer that did that rub. Wow. 